throughout the years, Roblox has made some pretty cool looking items, but they've also made some pretty wonky looking items as well, such as this one. But ever since UGC came out, there's been a lot of more items being produced lately. And uh, not to make anyone triggered or anything, but I think a lot of the UGC items that are being produced look a lot better than some Roblox items in my opinion. I think we can all agree that there is a lot of really, really good looking UGC items that I absolutely love and adore. But at the same time, I think we can all agree on the fact that there's a lot of UGC items that are extremely unoriginal and there are just a lot of trends that just get milked way too hard when the creators realize that that thing is popular and they want to make some quick cash. But at the same time, there are also a lot of UGC trends that actually aren't that bad and in fact, I think they're great. I love them a lot. So my broskies, in this video, we will be rating Roblox UGC trends. So here's how the ranking system will work. I'm going to rate the items based upon price, design, and originality. <coughs> Ew, that was gross. Just a little disclaimer, this is all my opinion, it's not fact. If you disagree with it, I literally don't care, do what you want, dude. Anyways, with that out of the way, we are going to get started. The first trend that we're going to be reviewing today is the noob trend. When UGC came out, I saw a bunch of random items, a lot of them being these really weird noob heads with all kinds of deformities, like for example, this really long Henry head and like the twisty noob neck and um, whatever this is supposed to be. I'm not gonna lie, some of these actually look pretty nice, but a lot of them obviously aren't original since they're based off of noobs and you know, the noob is so simple, how much can you actually do with it? There's a few of them that I actually like quite a bit, like the, uh, the slice of noob. It's simple, but it's clever. And I also like the little noob of 3D glasses. On the other hand, some of them look pretty lazy and unoriginal. For example, this one is literally just a noob head with like a giant yellow turd on it. You got a noob hat. Upside down noob. Noob in a glass. I think the ugliest one is probably this one. Not to be mean, but this one, it, it just looks horrible in my opinion. I think my favorite one is probably Beautiful Noob, which is a parody of Beautiful Squidward. I'm pretty Pretty sure. Props to whoever made this one. Overall, this trend, while it isn't the most original thing ever, it's, it's definitely something that they knew people would buy. I mean, I can't really blame people. It's funny. People buy it because it's funny, not because it's original. I honestly think the pricing on these items is just right, so I'm gonna give this trend for pricing a 5 out of 5. Originality? Don't kill me, but it's really not that original. I'm just gonna give it a one. I think the designs are still really nice. They're nice and simple. And to be honest, I'd wear some of these, so I'm gonna give the design a four out of five. Overall thoughts of the noob trend, not original, but not bad. The next trend that we're gonna be reviewing today is the big boy item trend. There are a lot of these. This also got milked really, really hard. To be honest, like, I don't really get the point of it. Like, I think at first it either started out with a shrub or a box. And then I saw a bunch of random items. Some of these are cool. Like, for example, yes, I would love to be toilet paper and I would love to be a trash can, but I don't know when I would ever want to be a filing cabinet. At the same time, though, a few of these are cool, like the cotton candy machine and the recycling bin. I think it helps kids want to recycle more. I'm just kidding. No, it doesn't. They don't care. Or the uh, treadmobile, you know, because in quarantine, you gotta exercise. I think my favorite one personally is the Robox. Um, it's like one of those little things that you like you turn the handle and it does a creepy little music and eventually a creepy clown or something pops out. So I think that's pretty cool. You can also have a sack to keep your bodies in. For legal reasons, that's a joke. You can be the boot. But yeah, I'm pretty sure a majority of these items are for comedic purposes, similar to the noob trend. Uh, one thing that I did find a little bit concerning is that that they made a necromancer aura so that you can summon Satan, but it's okay if you don't want to summon Satan in black, you can summon Satan in various different colors. To be honest, I feel like if any Karens out there saw these kind of items, they would probably say that Roblox is satanic or something. Um, my child is a Christian child, so they cannot play Roblox because Roblox supports Satan. Shut up. Uh, there's also like a bunch of tanks. I mean, excuse me, not tanks. <clears throat> Tonks. For price, I'm gonna give this trend a 5. However, I'm not sure if I would pay 300 Robux to be a boat, but 300 Robux is equal to around $3, and you know what you could get with $3? A patron membership! <laughs> 
If you become a patron, you can get early access to my videos as well as exclusive stuff from me that only you can get. Okay, I'll shut up now. For originality, I think I'll give this a three. You know, obviously like a cardboard box or a rock isn't super original. I think the cotton candy machine and like the Robux and those kind of items, I think those are really cool and pretty original. And as for design, I honestly am going to give this a four. I think the designs actually don't look that bad. Overall thoughts, I think this is a pretty cool trend. All right, so all of you already know about this one. This one's, um, it's really bad, okay? I've never seen a trend on Roblox milked so hard before. Like, if you go onto the catalog, you're gonna see a lot of these. And obviously, I am talking about the cartoony rainbow trend, duh! Seriously though, Roblox, why are you allowing this to happen? This is not okay. At first, like, I think it started off with just regular outlined Roblox items, which by the way, I thought was very cool because I've never seen a Roblox item with an outline before, so it was pretty neat. But then they came out with the rainbow ones and it kind of just got really out of hand. When I saw the very first cartoony rainbow item, I was like, whoa, that's pretty neat. Never seen something like that before. And then the creators realized that people liked it a lot, so they milked it and probably made a lot of profit off of it. <laughs> I honestly don't think that majority of these even look that bad. I actually think they look pretty nice. To me, it's that situation where it's like when you're in a car and you hear like a really popular song on the radio and you're like, whoa, this sounds really cool. Cool, I like this a lot, but then you hear it so much because they play it on the radio over and over and then you're just like, okay, you can stop now. I don't like this anymore. That's basically what this is to me. Some people will probably argue that these items look really ugly and you know, you're entitled to your opinion. I personally think these look kind of nice though, but again, it's milked so bad that I don't like it anymore. There are some of these that look really, really cool to me though. Like this one, I'm going to put the name on the screen because I kind of forgot what it was called, but anyways, I like like this one a lot. This is one of the best looking ones in my opinion. These two are also some of my favorite ones. Aside from the fact that it was milked really hard, like aside from that, this honestly seemed like a really good, nice, original idea. But obviously it had to be ruined, just like everything in the world. But seriously though, do we really need this many of them? Come on Roblox! For pricing, the pricing for most of them is really similar, so pricing's fine. I'm gonna give it a 4 out of 5, I guess. Or Originality. Uh... The original idea was pretty unique to me, but uh, we are talking about the trend itself, and obviously it was basically a stolen idea, so I'm gonna give it like a one for originality, okay? I don't want to tell you guys, it's, it's not original anymore. Design wise, it's fine, I guess, but like at the same time, most of these are already existing items just made into black items with a rainbow outline, so I guess I'll give the design a three. Overall thoughts? Stop milking it so hard, thank you. Okay, so this next one is actually my favorite trend because this is just personally something that I like a lot. I'm gonna try really hard not to be biased on this, but I might seem a little bit biased. Please don't kill me. So the next one that we are gonna be reviewing is the pink aesthetic trend, or actually you can also just call it the cute aesthetic trend. There are like a lot of these items, but I also understand why because they look so cute. Unlike the other trends, this trend is a bit different because instead of the way it looks exactly, it's more of the theme instead of the way it looks. Now, a lot of people have complained about these items because they're quote unquote too girly or they think that there's too many of these and there aren't enough boy items. And while I kind of agree with the whole boy item to an extent because like, let's face it, there are definitely more uh, girly items on Roblox than boyish items when it comes to UGC. But in my personal opinion, that's just because you can usually do more with girl fashion than boy fashion. Please don't call me sexist, that's just how I see it. Like, come on guys, whether or not you like girly things, the quality of these items and how cute they are is pretty clear. They're cute. And I can totally 100% see why so many people like to buy these items and why it's so popular. These items just have so much cute energy to them and I honestly love it. 
it. My favorite color is pink, so as I said, I'm a tiny bit biased, but like even if I didn't like the color pink, I know that I would still think these items are really cute. One thing that I will say is that I think they should do a little bit more of different colors. Like for example, instead of making everything pastel pink, maybe have some pastel blues or yellows or oranges in there or something like that, because not everyone likes the color pink. The ones displayed here, for example, these are a great example of something that's aesthetic that isn't just pink. I think they look really good. And unlike the other trends, like they aren't just copying and pasting a bunch of stuff, like they're creating all of these on their own, or at least a lot of them. Like, yeah, sure, there's a bunch of bow ties, but they're all in like completely different styles. And that's what I like about it so much. It's not just taking an already existing bow tie and putting a different design on it. A lot of these are made on their own. As for pricing for what these are, I think that the pricing is actually fairly cheap. So I'm gonna give it a five out of five. As for originality, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I think a lot of these are pretty original, but it could use some different colors and maybe a slightly different theme than just bunnies and cats. As for design, I think all of the designs look really, really good and well done and really high quality. So I'm gonna give the design a five out of five. Overall thoughts, a little bit too much pink, but aside from that, really good trend. All right, so for all the boys who were like, ew, gross, cooties, ew, pink, ew, gross. Don't worry because we are gonna dive into a much more edgy trend. Now this trend is a little bit smaller than the other ones and while it doesn't have as many items revolving around it, there's still quite a few of these and it's still like a mini trend. So I'm putting this in here anyway. So I'm just gonna call this trend the half face trend. <laughs> Um, it basically consists of a bunch of edgy half faces for all those kids who want to pretend that they're evil on Roblox. I honestly think that these items look pretty cool, but they are pretty edgy, not gonna lie. I know a lot of people on Roblox will really like these items because there's a lot of edgy people on Roblox. Not to be mean, but it's true, okay? <laughs> this one kind of looks like the marshmallow guy. I'm not sure if that's what they were going for, but that's what it looks like. And this one's the evil marshmallow. There's not a whole lot of these like I said earlier, but for the ones that are there They all look extremely similar to the point where there's very little difference to them aside from the style that they are made in Basically the same items just in a different style I don't really think this one counts because it's not a face It's just a shade on the head, but this item right here is really popular and for obvious reasons very edgy to be honest I think a lot of Roblox kids who think Think being depressed as an aesthetic probably bought this item. My Roblox girlfriend broke up with me, but that's okay. I'll just be by myself and let the darkness consume my soul. For price, I'm going to give this a five. All the prices seem to be the same and they seem pretty fair to me. For originality, I'm going to give it a two. It's definitely not original, but it doesn't look bad. And for design, I'm going to give it a three. The designs on all of these look really similar, but I Again, they look fine. The last one that we're going to be doing today is the emoji mask trend. Now, um, I'm not sure how many of you guys consider this a trend because this is all made by the exact same person, but there still are quite a bit of these items, so I wanted to do this anyway, so I guess we're kind of bending the rules a little bit. Please don't kill me. This is a pretty popular trend, and it's also one of my favorite ones, to be honest. I haven't bought any of these because I don't really play Roblox a whole lot, but I might at some point. Ever since Uwu was banned on Roblox, all of us weebs have been extremely depressed. Pressed, but a modi mask has brought it back. Thank you. For real though, I think all of these masks look really cute. They're just fun little simple faces. And I honestly don't think that any of these look ugly. My personal favorite is this one. It's just like bleh. For me personally, I think this trend kind of helps make up for the lack of faces that have been being put on Roblox lately. I haven't seen Roblox make a new face in quite a long time. And I think these just kind of substitute for that in a way. Since this trend is really simple and is just done by one person, there isn't a whole lot I can say about this trend, so we're gonna get onto the rating system. For price, I think the prices on these items are really fair, so I'm gonna give it a 5 out of 5. As for originality, uh, I'm going to give it a 3. Uh, some of these faces are already taken from other things, but I still think that it looks good. I personally think it would be cool if the creator made more of these. It would be cool to see what they come up with. And for design, I am going to 
to give it a 5 out of 5. It's a really cute, fun way to express yourself. I really like the different expressions and the different energies that all of these give off. Hey guys, so that was the video. I hope you liked it. It's definitely way different from my speed paint kind of videos. I'm definitely going to be doing a lot more commentary videos as well. I'm going to be doing all kinds of different content, so look forward to that. Feel free to become a patron. You can get early access to my videos as well as other exclusive stuff that only you can get from me as a patron, so check it out. This video took me a really long time to make, so smash that like button with your face. Just just kidding. Don't do that, please. And thank you so much to my patrons, Stork, Havoki, Untitled Citizen, Corp, and Warm Freeze. You guys are amazing. And I'll see you broskies in the next one. Bye!